Okay, okay, okay. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is an awesome day, but first off, I apologize for not uploading for a long time here. Now, the reason for that, I mentioned it before, we're waiting for this freaking uh, Gen 3 Raptor to arrive, but it never does because of these stupid chip shortages. So, today we're taking delivery of something else. That's right, so it, it's not uh, the new Raptor like we mentioned. It's not another truck. It's not a replacement for the R8, although the R8 will be leaving here pretty soon. More on that later, so the new car will be taking the R8's place in the garage for a little while. So don't worry, we're still getting the Raptor. It's just that it's never getting here, so I don't know when it's gonna get here. And as you guys probably know by now, the new Raptor is gonna be a replacement for the wifey because we're doing a giveaway on her current Raptor and it's only like, Ten nine days left. It ends on December 12th and today is December 4th so it's eight days left. If you guys don't know already we're giving away our awesome 2018 Ford Raptor at autoblog.com. All you got to do to enter is be a United States resident or a Canadian resident, be of legal age, find some cool merch that you like and I know you will because we have tons of shit to choose from and when you do you're automatically entered every dollar spent is now 15 entries to win so we're doing a 15 entry multiplier until the end of the giveaway so hurry up secure your entries while you still got a chance and this could be sitting in your driveway around christmas that's an awesome christmas gift speaking of the raptor we're going to start today's video with actually driving it and yes it's a little of course it'll be cleaned up for the new owner here but we got to take this to moon township ford because there's a recall on all 2018 Raptors, some kind of TCM thing. It's a quick fix. We got to go drop it off, have it all fixed up, ready to go for the new owner. And check this out. We're going to do a little merch plug for myself here. If you pick one of these up, for instance, you'll automatically enter. This is a super cool, like a thermos with the Raptor logo there with, yeah, not quite the Raptor logo, but ha, you guys get it. This thing is awesome. We have it in gray. We have a black one too, just says Autoblog on there. That's just one of many, many, many items we have at the store. I'm so excited for this. The new owner, I mean, you're going to love this thing. I hope you keep it pink for a little while. And I'm going to mention that again for those of you who don't know. If you don't want the bubblegum pink wrap on there, we'll have it unwrapped for you. It is Leadford Gray underneath, also an awesome color. So it goes without saying, if our new Raptor is not here when the giveaway is over and <laughs> the current Raptor is going to a new owner, my wife has nothing to drive. So, you know, I need to pick this car up now in case the Raptor doesn't get here because otherwise my wife's going to drive my truck and then, you know, we only have the R8 and the R8's going to be gone here pretty soon for a little while and then I don't have a car. So, uh, it's replacement time earlier than I, I, I thought it was going to be. All right, so we're going to fast forward in today's video. So, from dropping the Raptor off, hopping in an Uber, we're finally here at, hope you guys can see that. Mercedes-Benz of Pittsburgh. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's time for ha, another AMG. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? <laughs> it's not as loud as the old one, but we're back in an AMG. Oh, God, I love that sound. Ever since we did the giveaway on the W204 C63 that I had before, which was a coupe, we now have a sedan, I've been missing that car. So, I mean, it basically comes down to, without rattling on for too long, I missed the car. I had to get another AMG. Yes, I know, I've had one before. I've probably done all the, or most of the content that I can do on a W204 C63, but when you love a brand and love a car as much as I do, it doesn't matter. I had to get it anyhow. This is 
the obvious replacement for the other C63 that we had before. Now I finally have one again and I'm in love. I, I'm, I'm in love. There's some differences that we're going to talk about on this car versus the car that I had before. So as you guys can see, it's a sedan. And right off the bat, I, these wheels, uh, this is so ugly. So these are the stock wheels, which aren't really that ugly in stock format, but these have been like powder coated or something like that in black. And it, it just looks tacky to me. And then they're slightly curb brashed as well. But you guys know me, these wheels will be coming off here ASAP and uh, replaced by some a lot better wheels. <laughs> yeah, you get some new badges as well. They look kind of old or whatever. The color, I thought it was black when I saw the pictures. It's not black. This is a some kind of gray metallic, dark gray metallic, and I love it. It almost has like a blue uh, shimmer, like a hue to it in the sun. And yeah, I mean, it looks fantastic. It's blacked out. Uh, up front here just like you know we did on my old car even for the DRLs down there so it's got that mean black staring look from the front now this is a 2013 versus my old car was a 2012 so it's a year newer this is also a if you're a W204 C63 guy you can tell it has red calipers so this has the P31 package, which means it has 30 extra horsepower. So it goes from 451 to 481. It's got internals from the SLS Black Series, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. This car also has the performance seats. My old car did not have that. These are super bolstered. They hug you in real nice. The carbon fiber uh, little spoiler lip here is part of the p31 package as well we got blacked out badges exhaust wise it is a stock exhaust with a uh, secondary cat delete so it's definitely not the full straight pipe system you know from fi that i had before with long tube headers and everything but man does this car still sound good let her rip <laughs> So have I mentioned that I love it yet? So this is my favorite generation of C63. It's a W204. I mean, it's not as modern as the W205s I had, and they're great too, but there's just something special about the first generation proper C63 with the M156, the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter uh, V8. And before I forget, this car actually has a tune from Rentec as well. So it is supposed to have more horsepower than um, the 507 edition. So with 481 being P31 and then adding, I don't know exactly how much horsepower it would add from a P31, uh, but it, it's supposed to have around 520, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't messed around with the tune yet, but uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have a C63 on the channel again, and I'm head over heels, man. I love this car. This is like gonna be my daily now uh, when I'm not driving around in the truck. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, if the Gen 3 Raptor uh, doesn't get here, you know, because of everything that's going on, uh, pretty soon my wife's Raptor's gonna be gone and she won't have anything to drive. She's gonna have to drive my truck and then I need something to drive uh, because I won't have the R8 for a little while either. So yeah, here we are, another car on the channel. I love it, man. Let's hop in. This thing is such a tire shredder and it's just, it's so raw. You guys have heard all this from me before in regards to the other car, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just love it. I just think it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that sound, man. So check this out. Um, this is not a carbon fiber steering wheel. This is some kind of weird wrap around like the stock steering. So, you know, I'm not gonna do the whole screen upgrade like I did on the old car, uh, which was a very cool thing, um, and I liked it and all, but I didn't really use the other features and stuff, so I, I won't be doing that on this, you know, car here, and it would kind of be old anyhow, because I've already done a video on that. We'll definitely get a different steering wheel, though. 
um, not with the LEDs, just a regular, very nice carbon fiber steering wheel. And just update the interior a little bit. <laughs> the NA62, man, it pulls. Not the fastest car in the world. I have other fast cars at home, but man, that is just something special about this thing. I love it. And as you can tell, we don't even have tinted windows. Um, so, you know, the car has, I think, three previous owners. The guy who owned it before me is actually a tech at Mercedes of Pittsburgh. So that, you know, made it feel extra good to, to buy this car used because it's always kind of iffy. You never know who's, you know, owned it before and, you know, if they've been hooning around in the car like nonstop all the time. But he took very good care of the car and, um, you know, repaired a lot of the stuff that needed repaired. It had some issues that my old car had and he took care of all that. Um, you know, the undercarriage is in good condition. All that good stuff. The interior is in very good condition and these seats, man, they're, they're so bolstered. It feels so different to drive this car versus my old car. I don't know, it just feels more stable. I don't, I don't know how to, how to put it really. That slightly better condition uh, interior wise in this one too. Now it is a year newer so I don't really know what changed from 2012 to 2013 um, if someone is you know very knowledgeable you can let me know in the comment section but yeah <laughs> that's what it's all about man pure brute muscle from Germany I, I love it man I just love the pull of an NA engine I mean, you have to work a bit more for the power, but when you are up to speed already and you hit it, the torque is there right away and it, it pulls like a turbo engine does it. And it's just different. I love, you know, forced induction as well, but there is just something special with a naturally aspirated, especially a 6.2 liter V8 from AMG. I'm in love. Even though this isn't a straight pipe C63, I've been waiting for this moment for a while. We got some repetitive content in the AMG. <laughs> oh, I love it. Even though it's not as loud as I'm used to, and I love it. AMG, baby. All right, so there it is. Look at that. We finally have an AMG in the driveway once again. And I get to use, I mean, this is the most OG plate ever in the state of Pennsylvania. I mean, look at it. Like I've said, so, I mean, I've had a car like this on the channel before. I've done a lot of content on it. So, you know, I'm not expecting this to be this, you know, huge, like, car that gets views and that kind of thing. I get it. I mean, I bought it because I love it and I want an AMG back on the channel. I mean, AMG is kind of like part of the bloodline, the DNA of this channel. I just, I need one. Do you guys think we should wrap this one? I think we should, you know, except for, because we haven't done that with any of the AMGs before, ever. The only car that we vinyl wrapped on this channel is the Raptor. It's not here at the moment. Uh, we're obviously gonna get different wheels and stuff, but we always do that. So, I mean, that's not really a big thing, but I think we should wrap it. Leave your comments in, uh, the comment section below of what color you would like to see. I have something in mind, but I want to see what you guys have to say. And what should we do exhaust wise? Do you guys want it as loud as last time or is it good the way it is now? I know that I'm going to get bored of that. I need more. So let me know what you think of that as well. And we're going to leave it at that. Since it's winter, uh, it's actually kind of hard to film because the sun starts going down at like, you know, 4 p.m. Um, so you're fighting uh, light all the time here, but uh, I'm, I'm doing my best. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you're glad to see an AMG back on the channel as, as happy as I am because it's been missing for sure. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Check out autoblog.com. The giveaway is almost over, so make sure that you secure your entries for our 2018 Ford Raptor. Hopefully the new one comes in next week, but until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So yeah, the, the Audi is going away for a little while. We're shipping it down to uh, Miami, Florida. I'm doing the Savage Rally from Miami to Key West and back. So uh, while the, you know, Audi is gone, 
the AMG will sit here in the garage. The Audi is not going anywhere. I mean, obviously we're keeping it. It's just that it will be going back down to Florida. This time I'm not driving it. I'm shipping it. It's going to be an awesome rally. I can't wait to do it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.